guys, it's here. The Innova Precision Cooker 3.0. I want to unbox this with you guys and see what it's all about. Just a quick rundown. This will be a quick video. Before we even get started unboxing, I did want to show you when the last time Innova released a new version of the Precision Cooker, uh, you went from this large bulky item <laughs> over here to uh, what's substantially smaller. Uh, they also upgraded the power by 100 watts. So that's sort of the background of where we've been um, when they've done a new product release with the Nova Precision Cooker series, uh, the Nova Precision Cooker in particular. Um, and now we get to see what happens when the newest one comes out. So I'm gonna call this version one, version two, and this is version 3.0. And it's maybe 3.0 after me. So here we go. So we unbox the cooker and out of the gate, it looks very, very similar to the 2.0. So here are the two side by side. Let me get this out of the way a little bit. So you have the two precision cookers. Uh, they are identical in terms of um, the housing, the casing, everything, the size. Those are all the same. I see a little bit of a difference just in um, the design in the sense that you have a metallic sort of surrounding on the bezel. Not a big deal there. And then you can see the plus minus uh, stop go sort of buttons right on uh, the screen there, um, which you can't with the old model. But other than that, from the eye, nothing else is different. Um, so what I do know though is there are three particular differences with this that you, that does not meet the eye, right? So the biggest thing being that this is now 1100 watts versus the 1000 watts of the 2.0. So the 3.0 is 100 watts more. Uh, the second difference is um, they've upgraded the Wi-Fi. So now it's a dual band Wi-Fi, so you get a little better connectivity and perhaps stable connection or easier to connect. And the third thing is uh, I will plug this in so you can see this, but um, the old version, uh, the 2.0 version, if you will, had just the time or temperature displaying at once, whereas now this will give you, show you both at the same time. You had to toggle between it in the previous version. So let's plug them in and check out what that actually looks like in case that's helpful. It'll at least help you visualize it. So here are the two models, right? So this is the new model. This is the old model. You can see 70 degrees Fahrenheit is what it's reading on the old model. Here you can see that it's showing what your target temperature is at 130 degrees and it's showing the time, right? So you get to see both those things over here. I have to go to these buttons to see those different things, but both the target temperature and the time are readily displayed on the new model. So again, the three things that are different with this 3.0 model, the biggest being the fact that it's 100 watts more, so it's 1100 watts now, which matches what the Jewel is. Um, and then the second thing being the Wi-Fi has been improved, the connectivity has been improved. And then the third thing being, you can see both the time and temperature at the same time. Um, those are the three key differences. One thing I do wanna test for you guys while I have you, is I found the 2.0 version to be fairly loud relative to other cookers. So I do wanna take just a moment to plug them both in, run them in water and see how they sound. Uh, so bear with me. We'll do a little experiment here. It'll be a quick experiment. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is these are both targeted to 130 degrees doesn't shouldn't matter at all. I'm just gonna hit run on the 2.0 model and we can listen to it. You can hear that sort of higher pitch sort of sound. I've actually got a sort of sound level meter here as well. So we'll turn it on, we'll test. It's running at about 64. So the min reading is 63.2. This is up near the head of the unit. We'll do 
a test on the 3.0 and see what we get there. So to the ear, it sounds pretty darn similar. I would say there's not really a discernible difference. We'll actually use a sound meter to check it. So we're getting about 56.9 on the sound meter. So it is a little bit quieter. So uh, to the ear, I'm gonna do this one more time. Okay, so having played them back to back, the new 3.0 model is less high pitch in sound uh, and it is slightly quieter. We proved that with the sound level meter. Um, so yes, it is slightly quieter. Would you know the difference um, if we didn't do this test? Perhaps not. Uh, they, they make a decent amount of sound relative to other sous vide cookers, so these aren't the quietest of models. But it is good to know, it is a little quieter, the 3.0 model versus the 2.0 model. So again, so the big differences are 100 watts more, number one, and biggest difference. Two, Wi-Fi connectivity. Three, uh, the temperature and time get displayed in the 3.0 model. And now we figured out a fourth. It's slightly quieter. Uh, so with that, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. If you're contemplating getting the 3.0 versus the 2.0. Um, and if you like this video, subscribe, like, give us a like and we'll see you next time. Thanks.